Hello everyone, in this tutorial we will be talking about local setup, local environment for the front-end and back-end development. For the front-end development we will be connecting our solution to XM Cloud. We will be getting content uh, and JSONs from XM Cloud. But for the back-end uh, configuration we will use a full setup with Docker containers, local CM instance. I will show you how to configure CM to use local rendering host and as a final step we will be testing our GraphQL queries using GraphQL Playground. As a front-end developers we won't be using Docker, we won't be installing Docker, we won't be uh, running containers locally, we will be running Next.js React application locally that will take content and uh, layout directly from our XM Cloud instance. So to be honest for, for this setup we need to download our source code from repository. I'm assuming that at this point uh, we have a website configured inside code, we have a repository and we can download it on our local machine. And then front-end developers will go to source folder and down the source folder they will see all the websites um, sites that are available inside code and uh, they will treat each of these sites as a normal Next.js React application, so they know how to run npm install and then they will use npm run start connected to run this website and uh, develop against it. So the only thing that front-end developers will have to configure is env.local file. It's a copy of env file, but they will have to update Sitecore API key, uh, GraphQL endpoint and JSS app name. And you can find these values um, uh, when you log into Sitecore Portal. Uh, once you are logged into Sitecore Portal, you can select one of the apps that you want to get these details for, and then you will see XM Cloud with Open App button. When you click on this button, you will see all the apps uh, that you can select, and then you will be able to select these three dots and click on settings and then you can select developer settings and on this page you will have JSS app name, GraphQL endpoint and Sitecore API key. So these are variables that you want to take from, from this section and add it to your local, local file. We need to remember that during development uh, in terms of the process um, Backend developers, Sitecore developers will have to create renderings and content in Sitecore first and deploy to XM Cloud instance. Uh, so then front-end de front developers will be able to use it. Otherwise, they will not be able to get anything from XM Cloud instance because it won't be won't be ready yet. It won't be available there. So we need to keep this in mind in terms of the process. Um, who is developing um, components with adding content first? And uh, so then front -end developers are not expecting components and content being provided by XML Cloud if it's not deployed there yet. So for backend developers, we will be installing Docker. To do this, you need to go to docker.com, download the version that is best for you. Once it's installed, you need to make sure that it's running in Windows containers mode. You can check this uh, by, by checking your settings and if you see uh, switch to Linux containers means that you're running in Windows containers mode which is good. So once we have Docker installed we can run init script. Uh, it's a PowerShell script that will create certificates and initial setup and then we will be running up PowerShell script that will create all the containers for us and will run them in our Docker. So I will skip this um, process of running uh, in its script because it takes some time but after that once it's done and if you don't see any errors you can run up uh, script which again will download all the um, um, images and will create containers again i will skip this um, process because it will take a while but as a result of that you will see all the containers in your docker so the next step is to check if everything is working fine. You can go to your um, rendering host URL. This is your um, head application for your environment. 
and also you can go to the XM Cloud CM local instance to see if you can log into to Sidecar. So these three URLs are quite important to make sure that both are working fine. We are going to talk about rendering host because by default, when you will be creating your CM instance in the Docker container, Sidecar will configure your rendering host to be pointing to XM Cloud instance. I'll show you what that means and how to change it. But basically, when you will be switching to experience editor mode, you will be using your rendering host from your cloud instance, which in some cases will not be up to date because if you are developing as a backend developer locally, you are creating a new component. You want to see this component, how it's going to be rendered. And especially if you're adding placeholders and you want to add additional rendering inside, you want this to be tested locally on your machine. And for this, you will have to configure your rendering host locally because you can use that uh, cloud version, but the cloud version will not contain your changes yet. So I'll show you how to do it because it will allow you to use Experience Editor locally with your local rendering host. So to create your local configuration for, for your local rendering host, we have to go to Settings, um, Services, Rendering Hosts, and then the default one, the first one is out of the box created by Sidecar, and then you can create your own local uh, configuration with these um, local rendering host uh, URLs. And then we have to select our local configuration under our settings. So we have one site under settings, site grouping. We've got our site and we can select, we can change it from default to local. And then Sidecar, when you switch to uh, Experience Editor, Sidecar will use our local uh, rendering host instead of, uh, instead of cloud version. And the next element that we want to configure is our Playground. Playground is a, a web interface that allows you to test your GraphQL queries. So this will allow you to test your GraphQL queries against your XM Cloud instance and your local instance as well. So to do it, we have to check a couple of things. Uh, one is the URL. You need two URLs. One is the XM Cloud. URL which uh, you can see here and then we need a site called API key. Uh, key is the same that I showed you earlier for front-end developers. It's the same key that you can use and query um, your uh, XM Cloud instance. And then you need uh, some variables. Uh, these are variables, um, context item, data source item, uh, language. These are things that you will need and you will find probably in the documentation as well in terms of how to use GraphQL. This is a GraphQL query that I created just to test uh, this interface. It's returning data source uh, item plus uh, children of that item with the same template. To query your local instance, we will have to change the URL and also we will have to change the API key. The API key you can find in your end file because Sidecore is creating this GUID uh, when you are running init PowerShell script. And you can double check this in line 119. Uh, Sidecore is creating uh, API key. And then when you're running your app PowerShell script, Sidecore is creating this item in your CM instance. So you can find this GUID in your env file and this is your uh, sidecar api key that you want to use locally in terms of the url you can find this url or the, the structure of this url in the documentation as well however it is usually your xm cloud cm localhost and then sidecar api um, graph edge so this is your local endpoint and this is what you want to use locally. If your GraphQL queries are not working locally, you can double check your configuration. So you can go to Docker Compose of the right file and check if you have Sidecar GraphQL Exposed Playground set to true. In this tutorial, we talked about local setup, local configuration for front-end developers and back-end developers. 
we talked about rendering host, how to use rendering local rendering host, how to configure CM local CM instance to use local rendering host. And we also talked about GraphQL queries, how to use GraphQL Playground to query XM Cloud and to query your local CM instance to test your GraphQL queries. So I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next one.